Yo, what's going on guys? As you can see, I'm surrounded by soup and crackers. Yep, some chicken noodle soup, uh, some vegetable soup, and got the saltine crackers right here. I'm recovering from a some type of random bug I got um, contracted, I guess. Yesterday I was sick with the 24 hour bug, as you can see, it's the next day, and I'm alert, I'm able to drive, I'm able to get out of bed, um, drink water, and actually eat more. So I'm just having some, finishing up my chicken soup uh, with rice, chicken noodle. Well, it's not noodle, it's chicken and rice. I don't like chicken noodle. But, um, and this happened to be chicken noodle, but didn't feel like going back out to the store. So been taking good care of myself, lots of Powerade and water, a um, lot of rest. Um, I don't feel like I've, you know, lost any weight. I don't think you can lose weight like that in one day. You may lose water. Um, which is fine with me. I'm lean. It's the day after Thanksgiving. While everybody else was enjoying their Thanksgiving meals, I was stuck with soup. Uh, yeah, boring. But there's leftovers. Um, my mom cooked a lot of food. My sisters cooked. Excuse me. So I will be eating a lot um, once uh, I give myself you know, a few days to actually heal up from the, the virus, the 24-hour bug I had, which was freaking horrible only one day and you're like just stuck in bed it's not fun when you're used to doing things on your own you know a lot of people were posting about their you know Thanksgiving pomp and I was like fuck man I had to turn off Instagram I was so jealous I wanted to work out I always work out holidays doesn't matter if that's my day to work out I'm training so I missed out on my Thanksgiving pomp um, so I realized hey if I'm sick, I can't do anything, so no big deal. Just stay resting, and as you can see, a day after, I'm much better. Um, so yeah, I'm not really doing too much today. Just kind of resting in bed still, um, walking around, drinking more fluids, because my body can handle it now. Yesterday, I felt so nauseous, and um definitely going to eat up my cans of soup and finish off my crackers I ate let me see I ate a whole pack of crackers today so I'm starting to get my you know get my eat on again so and not feel nauseous so that's a good thing but I plan to um, return to the gym maybe next week I might just finish continue taking a whole weekend off Actually, tomorrow I may go up to the hills and do some st active stretching and kind of getting my body back in the rhythm. Um, obviously, when you're sick, you get pretty weak. So you have to ease back into this thing. And uh, I know I can't full blown and go out and lift some weights and go back to the gym, which I want to do. But I know physically, just give it a little bit more time so I don't relapse. And uh, that can happen if you rush back into a workout. So, probably just some stretching and a little bit of walking tomorrow. See how I feel. I don't feel out of breath or anything. I feel good. I feel energized. You know, besides eating the good, you know, soups and crackers and whatnot. And keeping hydrated with water and, you know, Powerade or Gatorade or something. I also been, I started drinking some um, apple cider vinegar today. Um, and I'll drink this on a regular anyway. Um, as you can see, it's I'm just just about gone and uh, so I love drinking this and this is very beneficial after sickness to kind of flush out the the bacteria and the virus in your body which is gross but this stuff really does work so after you have some type of flu bug or a common cold you just I just usually like pour some water you know get a glass of water at this point, since I'm getting over sickness, I'm not using no spoon. I don't care. I'm just trying to get this stuff in my system, which is very good um, for cleansing. So some apple cider vinegar, Brax. And I love this stuff. I'm just going to pour a little bit. And I'm going to sip on this, you know, after I have my soup. Really good stuff very beneficial I had some earlier when I woke up this morning 
uh, with soup and it was really good and it's really good stuff it cleansed me out and get me back on the road baby to, to fitness and doing what I love to do it's nothing like being able to do things for yourself It's not too bad you get used to the taste a lot of people say oh apples i can't drink it i can't drink it once you drink it often like the taste doesn't bother you anymore so as you can see i just poured it without a spoon i don't care you know it's not over the top it's enough for me to get better You know, I was I also watching a lot of uh, videos on Thanksgiving yesterday and a lot of people, you know, fitness addicts were, you know, nervous about eating Thanksgiving meals and, oh, I'm going to get fat. Um, I was just laughing because science does not work that way. Um, you don't get fat off eating a plate of Thanksgiving dinner. If you're eating like that every day to an excess, maybe you can get fat, but... To eat a plate or two, what harm is that going to do? It's just um, storing more glycogen in your muscles, which you need sometimes. So there's nothing wrong with fueling on some good carbs every once in a while anyway. And I know Thanksgiving plates are probably, man, I think of all the butter and sugar that's cooked in Thanksgiving um, dinners. I would say probably like 800 900 calories in one one plate if not more in a thanksgiving plate depending on how much you eat but i can never finish a plate anyway i would feel so full from the stuffing and turkey turkey and you know uh, potato salad and greens and amongst like it's like 10 different dishes you're eating so yeah i can understand when people say oh i'm gonna get fat off eating thanksgiving if you feel that strongly and you just that strict on yourself you know, don't eat Thanksgiving food. Don't celebrate it. But for the people to know their stuff, they're going to enjoy a plate of Thanksgiving food and get back on your grind. Stay on your grind. You don't have to worry about it. I know I could have used the plate yesterday, but uh, maybe I'll introduce regular food Monday or something. It depends on how my body feels and how I respond to food. So right now I'm still just on the same, you know, brat type of diet. And, uh, taking things one day at a time yeah so the remaining of the day I think I want to just continue to rest I watch a lot of different Netflix movies and shows so I usually don't have time for it so it's actually pretty cool to sit around and we'll lay around and <laughs> watch movies all day and catch up on Netflix so that was pretty cool so Oakland Hills today I'm tired of laying around I have more energy do want to go to the hills to meditate and kind of relax and um just i appreciate my health like i don't get sick often um but i had to walk through somebody's sneeze or nasty cough or something but yeah i don't get sick often at all so you know i appreciate my health like when you come back from a sickness you appreciate your health even more it's crazy the things we take for granted So if I feel up to it later on, I'll go to the Oakland Hills and bring out my lawn chair and just sit out and chill. But I know I'll be up there tomorrow with my uh, resistance bands and my mat, just stretching and kind of getting the body flowing a bit and that's it. Like, no gym to do weights or anything like that. No, that's, that's going to take a little time and that's fine.
is my uh, fifth day of recovery, day five. And I'm feeling much better. And just taking a nice stroll, getting some fresh air, and enjoying my healing process, which was very frustrating um, due to I'm used to being active and not laying around. So I'm enjoying nature and how peaceful it is up here. It's absolutely fantastic. So I can't complain now. Road to recovery. Um, so my doctor said uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday I can give the gym a try. I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to wait and get back on schedule Sunday or Monday. I'm not going to rush it. So I'm just going to enjoy the healing process for what it is. Here's another view. Absolutely beautiful. You know, there are some awesome lessons I've learned throughout this process of healing and dealing with the flu. I've learned to be more patient with myself. I've learned to do self-care, self-love, and just really spoil myself and rest and laughter and reading and just unwinding a bit. And so, you know, having the flu really taught me a lot about myself. I need to slow down. There's no need to rush. Patience is key as long as I have a journey and a purpose in life. Nothing can stop me. I can't stop myself. So this journey has been great for me. Um, so I'm learning to look at it in a positive perspective and not just wanting to be physically active. I'm looking at it from a spiritual perspective. It's beautiful. <laughs>